I'm Penley Knipe. I'm the head of paper conservation. And today I'd like to show you what we're affectionately calling the fish book. I wanted to show you some of the other pages because you won't be able to see all of them. Starting with this beautiful frontispiece. So this is the title of the book and it is hand colored with all these lovely little flowers. The text is all done by letterpress. This is the only person pictured in the book, the Emperor of China at the time, and it is also hand colored with a brush. And some of the features that I love are the beautiful work in the fur coat and the texture in the fur hat and this marbling that's all done with hand coloring. There are 48 plates in the book and they have one, two, or three fish on each one. Here's a great example of two fish. It's printing on a copper plate, it's engraving and etching with roulette and stippling, and the text and the outlines of the fish and kind of the scales are all inked a la poupée with a little ink ball in a little cloth sack that's just dabbed onto the plate, it's run through the press. And then all the other color that you see, the blue background, the orange on the fish, the eyeballs, is all hand applied after the print is made. And how do we know that? If you look closely at the blue background, you'll see there's variation. So there's kind of areas where the watercolor is really thick, where the watercolor is not very thick. In this one, the brush has gone right around the fish, and it's pretty obvious. And the little algae, which is not on all the prints, is also hand applied. Francois Martinet and his son Aaron made all the plates, did all the inking, and all the hand coloring. This fish is a great example of this kind of iridescent color that's used. On each of the scales, there's a little bit of a bronze color. At certain angles, you'll see there's like an extra sheen. So that might be a coating of something like gum arabic to make the colors a little deeper and a little more intense. Another feature that's really special is the colors are still really bright, probably due to the fact that it's a bound volume, so it's almost always shut, it's not exposed to light. You can see that, especially in this pink and orange one. Pink and orange watercolors can be pretty sensitive to light exposure. The colors are also protected by these very thin interleaving sheets. They're very translucent, and there's one in between each of the prints, and that protects the page from abrasion. And there are a lot of watermarks in the volume, and this one says Auvergne, which is a region in France very well known for its paper making. So that's very nice to have the confirmation that the book is French, and indeed, the paper used is also French. 